Olá pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I wanna welcome all our new subscribers. Welcome to the Key Family. Welcome to the Kingdom Influencer Family. I am a Kingdom Influencer. You are a Kingdom Influencer. We are Kingdom Influencers, ambassadors of heaven here on earth, showing and leading people to the Kingdom way of living. So I just wanna welcome all of you guys and i want to sh- jump straight right into this bible verse in matthew 20 starting from verse 29 the word says as jesus approached jericho an immense crowd gathered and followed him and there were two blind men sitting on the roadside when they heard that jesus was passing by they shouted son of david show us mercy lord Those in the crowd scolded them and told them to be quiet. But the blind men screamed even louder, Jesus, son of David, show us mercy, Lord. So Jesus stopped and had them brought to him. And he asked them, what do you want me to do for you? The reason that I want to start off with this verse It's just something that the Lord has told me to do. And the other day I was praying, right? And the Lord gave me a vision. And as the vision was coming to an end, I heard, what do you want? How do you want it? And when I heard this, I heard this in Romania's voice, right? So my thing with God is, God, everything that you show me, everything that you show me, I want the word to confirm. I want to be able to prophesy out of your word. And the Lord gave me two scriptures, but this scripture was the one that the Lord spoke even deeper, where the Lord just opened my eyes, right? Where the Lord really just got my attention. As I was studying and I was speaking to the Lord concerning this verse, the Lord got me to the point where I began to realize that at this point, right, where they got the attention of Jesus, they could have asked Jesus for anything. And I truly believe that because they were in a moment of grace, a moment of mercy and favor, their requ- their request was going to be granted to them. The Lord reminded me how Esther was in the presence of the king and it was the favor over her life. It was the intercession of the Holy Spirit that allowed the king to accept her without nothing being done and for the king to ask her, What do you want? Even up to half of the kingdom, I will give to you. It wasn't only his love for Esther, but it was because the Holy Spirit had already been interceding for her. It was because favor and grace was already upon her life. And the Lord made me see that these two blind men were kinder in the same situation. That whatever they would have asked in that moment, it was going to be given. It was going to be done for them. And as the Lord is downloading this to me, the Lord said to me, they did not lose focus. They knew what they wanted and that's what they cried out for. And that's what they got. Even when they got the att- the attention of Jesus, they didn't lose sight of what they wanted of what was needed so that made me take a moment you know i took some steps back and i said jessica what are you asking you know what have you been asking you are living the moment of favor the moment of grace so know what it is that you want and stick to it right but i knew i truly knew that I was receiving this word because there was more to it. There was more to it. I went on with my day about two or three days after the Lord spoke to me about this, you know, and I preached on it um, to our congregation. I preached, I preached on it, but I was like, there is still, there is still something. There is still something. After those two, three days, I 
got um I got approached and a really good opportunity was presented to me. A really good opportunity was presented to me. Um this opportunity has knocked on my door let's say about two or three times. This would would have been the third time I believe, but I the other times I had declined, right? So in my head this is me. This is me, right? This opportunity has come once, twice, so this is a third time. It must be a blessing in disguise, right? But I was I remembered that word. I remembered focus. And I went on with my day, came into my room, and I was like, no, man, this opportunity. I was like, Lord, is this a blessing in disguise? Am I throwing this away when I'm not supposed to be throwing it away? I was rather conflicted, but I was trying to push this confliction away with trying to see how this could have been of God. Um, Lyra posted her testimony and as I was listening to her testimony, she said the word extended stay and she, and she gave the revelation that God had given her about her extended stay. And the Lord said to me, you do not need to extend your stay. I am in the process of preparing my things to leave, right? And me taking this opportunity would have been me extending my stay where I am. And as soon as I caught on to what Lyra had downloaded, what Lyra had poured in concerning extended stay, I said, this is it. This is what God had been saying all, all along. This opportunity would have been a distraction. Would, ha- would I have been blessed through it? Yeah, most probably. Would have I succeeded with it? Yeah. But the problem would have been that I am losing focus. The Lord had already asked us, what do you want? The Lord had already said, I am doing it by this time tomorrow. I have remembered you. What when the Lord said, I have remembered you, what was that thing that you presented to him that you said, Lord, concerning this is what I want you to remember me by. So now that you are close to that thing, do not allow distractions. Be like the two blind men that w- they were focused. Be focused in what you want. Do not waver. Be careful with the opportunities. You do not want to extend your stay. You do not want to extend whatever it is that you have been trusting God to take you out of. This door, this opportunity might seem beautiful, might actually seem like a life-changing opportunity, but it's nothing compared to the door that God has opened with what you have been remembered by, with what you have been crying out to God for. You have shouted, you have cried out to God and you caught the Lord's attention. The Lord stopped and asked you, what is it that you want? What can I do for you? How do you want me to do it? I am even giving you space to share with me how. You have gotten his attention. Don't allow the fact that now you've gotten his attention derail you. Don't allow the fact that now you have gotten the Lord's attention Make you lose focus. Be focused. Know what it is that you want and stick to it. Right now, the enemy is going to try and distract you because he knows what is waiting for you on the other side. He knows what God has prepared for you on the other side. He might be presenting a two, a two, a double door, whatever it's called, right? But this double door is like standard size compared to the double door that God has for you. Only thing God needs is for you to keep focused. The only thing God needs right now is for you not to be derailed. 
God is asking, what do you want? Remember, what is it that you had said to him? What is it that you have been fasting for? What is it that you have been dreaming about that has been prophesied over your life? What is it that just three days ago you asked him about? What is it that you have said to God? God, the situation has been with me for years. I need things to change. I need you to change this. I need you to open the doors for me to move here. I need you to give me this job. I need this and this and that. Remember what it is and don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. The enemy wants you to lose focus. But I decree that in the name of Jesus, you will be focused. You will say what it is and stick to it. And remember, those that seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, those that seek after the will of God, you will get that and everything else will be added on to you. If this opportunity feels like, okay, I need this right now. No, baby. Carry on seeking God for what you are seeking God for. Because what you are seeking God for is in his will. It's you seeking what God wants and he will add the rest. He will add the rest. So I just want to share this with you guys. I just want to say, don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. I'm going to say this again. Do not lose focus. Umbeju, stay blessed. Bye-bye.